This is the Knox Zoom Tube. It has become one of my favorite every ride carries. Find out what I like and dislike about it and why you might want to carry one as well. Welcome back Pathless Puddlers. And if you're new to the channel, we are all about the non-competitive side of cycling. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button. The Knox Zoom Tube is a monocular. And I know what you're thinking. It seems kind of strange to carry a monocular or a binocular on a bike ride. Well, if you're fans of the channel, you know I like to integrate different things on the bike ride, everything from fishing to watercolors and most recently birding, just observing nature while we still have it. And devices like a monocular or a binocular make that really easy. When compared to all the things I need to go fishing, uh, you actually need very few things to go birding. So full disclaimer, this was sent to the channel for review. Let's get into the stats here. It is an eight by 32 monocular. So the objective lens, which is the lens that's pointing outwards is 32 millimeters and it has an eight times magnification. So that's a pretty standard magnification for birding uh, and just general wildlife observation. It is IPX4 rated. So water resistant and dust proof. Would not go swimming with these, but would probably hold up to a slight misting or, or just kind of casual moisture. <laughs> is that a thing? Casual moisture. <laughs> In terms of field of view, it gives you 384 feet field of view at a thousand yards. So that translates to about roughly 7.3 uh, degrees of field of view. So close focusing distance on this one is 10 feet, which is actually a lot better than the binocular that they also sell. So if you happen to see some wildlife that's around that 10, 10 foot mark, you can focus uh, on them with this binocular. In terms of what it comes with in the box, you get a leash and you get a microfiber case and that's about it, that's about it. So why go with a monocular instead of a binocular? Well, one kind of obvious thing is the form factor. This is a lot more svelte, a lot easier to, to pack into small spaces as opposed to even a pretty compact pair of binoculars. For example, with this thing, you could stuff it easily into a feed bag, have it on your handlebar, so it's always there for you for quick access. As opposed to a binocular, even a pretty small pair, uh, probably not gonna fit in the feed bag. And this is important because if you go birding, you know that you have you know, maybe a fraction of a second to pull out your, your optics of choice and focus in and ID that bird. In terms of comfort during the viewing experience, a binocular, if you're gonna be doing some serious birding, is gonna be way more comfortable, uh, both to hold and just eye relief. A monocular, however, uh, does lend itself to quicker, faster access, like you would need on a bike tour and you spotted some wildlife, a moose, a bear down the road. So while not super comfortable if you're you know, intensely viewing things, for those quick capture moments, monocular definitely wins. So I've had the zoom tube for about two months and have been taking it on various rides and trips that we've been doing and doing some casual birding with it. And overall, it's actually pretty dang good. One thing I do appreciate is that it comes in fun kind of textured colors. So uh, a lot a lot easier to spot in a gear bag. I love this textured grip. It makes it really nice to hold over long periods and doesn't slip out of your hand. The focus wheel is really nice and smooth. It makes it really easy to get that sharp critical focus uh, on an object. In terms of optics for something so small, it's actually pretty good. I find the view fairly bright and, and sharp in the center. It does get a little bit softer around the edges, but in terms of that central part, it's pretty sharp. I've not noticed any excessive flaring or, or color fringing. So the optics in this, surprisingly good. Is it as good as say, you know, a $400 pair of Monarch 7s from Nikon? Uh, no, these will win hands down. But at the same time, these only cost a quarter of the price. So it doesn't feel as precious and dear as a higher end pair of binoculars. In terms of dislikes, there's not a whole lot, but there are two. And one is that I wish it came with a lens cap. A binocular is just begging to be left on the outside of a bag for quick access. So it'd be nice to have some protection for the optics. And what I'm thinking is pretty simple, just some kind of plastic caps that you can put around the monocular and cap it on there while you're traveling. I know you can buy binocular caps out on Amazon. Uh, if anyone is curious, the diameter is about 45 millimeters. So you're looking for a 45 millimeter cap if you do want to add that to your monocular. Another thing I wish the zoom tube had was a built-in clip. 
It does, however, have a quarter 20 thread. So you could adapt things to this, like the Peak Designs uh, quick clip, capture clip thing. I went the super cheap route and bought this uh, holster clip. And a couple of key features about this is you'll want to get one with a slot so you can screw this into the quarter 20 hole. I'll link to this specific one that I bought in the description below. The hole was a little bit small for a quarter 20, so I had to embiggen the hole with a Dremel, so keep that in mind. You'll also have to get a quarter 20 screw, so uh, it's helpful to bring this with you into the hardware store to make sure you can find the right thread uh, screw to do this. So I believe it comes in coarse or fine, and I forget uh, which this one is. So this is the Knox with this DIY clip on here. It's not perfect. It's only going through one hole, so there is a tendency for this to rotate. Ideally, I wish a clip like this was built in or there were two holes so you could have an anti-rotation uh, pin or something. That said, even though it does kind of fudge on occasion, this hasn't been a huge problem for me in actual use. So I usually have some kind of front bag on my bike and they often have molly strap webbing like this. And that is a perfect place to clip this on. So you can see it's on there and it's really easy to take off. Although enough tension to keep it on there while you're riding a bike. Again, if you don't want to go this route, you could just stick the whole thing into some kind of feed bag and have the leash out there and uh, you can pull it out that way. You get the picture. One of the strong suits of a monocular is its quick access. And I think a built in uh, clip on the body would just make that a ton easier. So would I recommend this? You know, at $75, it's not inexpensive, but in the grand scheme of what optics can cost, this is actually, you know, fairly affordable. Trust me, you don't want to get the cheapest optics you can get because it just looks like a, a muddy, mushy mess. Glass in this is actually pretty good. I think it's worth it if you want to do some wildlife observation while you're biking or on a bike tour. You can safely view that moose or that bear or marmot or sasquatch from the distance, but still get a pretty good look at them. If you're a Patreon supporter at the Team Supple and Above level, uh, you actually have an access code to get 17% off of the ZoomTube or any other Knox products. So if you're on the fence, want to save some money, support the channel, join us on Patreon. If you guys have any other questions about the ZoomTube or other Knox products, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to answer them. And if you like this content, uh, join us on Patreon, buy a sticker. That's how we keep these lights on and keep making these videos. So as always, keep the supple side down.